Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's Thursday. We are almost through April, if you can believe it. And uh, I've got my little cup of joe here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, where we're at with the real estate market, uh, and and kind of give just a bit of a perspective, kind of you know what's happening. It's uh, like we're almost in May. We are almost crazy as it sounds. We're almost halfway through um, 2019, and no, I don't want to rush it, but you know it's coming fast and furious. And uh, oh, by the way, if you're thinking about uh, making a move this year and you don't know where to start or you want to have that conversation, um, hit me up. Uh, you can either DM me if you're watching this on Instagram. You can Facebook message me. You can email me, sold at kenparkin.com. Uh, there's lots of ways to get in touch, and I'd love to chat about your current situation and, and sort of see what you're what you're thinking about, um, maybe where you want to go. But I wanted to talk to you today about um, what's coming, what's happening with the market. Get asked every day, Ken, what's going on? How are you thinking? You know, things are going to play with the U.S. market. What's happening with the global? Um, Real estate market, people are people are even talking about like North Korea and Russia getting together and talking. How is it going to affect, you know, what's happening here? The stock market, Tesla, up, down, left, right, stop. The, the reality is, while it all affects our marketplace, it doesn't affect our marketplace. And each and every day, you can't get crippled by what's happening out of our control bottom line. So if um, the stock market's going up, uh, maybe the real estate market has flatlined and could potentially coming down. If the real estate market is going up, maybe the stock market is flatlined. It, it doesn't matter. Real estate, unlike the stock market, or I'm not here to pick on the stock market. I know very little about it and I'm giving you zero advice on the stock market. If you need someone to do that, reach out to me and I'll put you in touch with the right people. But uh, unlike the stock market where there's volatility up and down, left and right, real estate market is very localized. So depending on not even just your city, you know, it used to be what's happening in the GTA. Then it was what's happening in, you know, Mississauga or Oakville or Hamilton. What Now it's what's happening within a neighborhood. And to take it a step further, it's even what's happening with like condos in townhouses and you know semi-detached or detailed. we are very localized and very segmented when it comes to the real estate market so don't get um in a panic or in a fear or even in a high that something's going crazy up crazy down you see price reductions and you see you know things selling quickly or multiple offers everything is happening as it should at least in the moment while the ebbs and flows of our economy, both locally, nationally, and globally, uh, play themselves out. If you're going to make a move this year, uh, I believe that um, you know until December, at least until November, we're going to have a fairly stable real estate market. We're seeing a lot of price reductions, and that's not a bad thing. A lot of people are testing the market right now because there's very little inventory. I can explain it very easily, uh, and there's nothing wrong with price reductions. If you want to test the market and see if your property can command something more than probably what it should, go right ahead. Um, there's not a ton of inventory, so it's not like you're going to get lost uh, in the sea of listings. You have an opportunity if your home is situated and properly presented to potentially get more than probably what it's worth in today's dollars. That's a good thing. We're in a very balanced real estate market. So reassurance for real estate. Um, if you're thinking about making a move, uh, say you want to move in September, we need to have that discussion right now in order to start preparing for what is coming. You know, a lot of times a fresh coat of paint can add five or $10,000 to the value of a home. Um, maybe fixing up a powder room, taking care of 
you know, carpets that might have stains. Maybe it's time to replace those old carpets. There's a lot of things you can do to improve the value of your home at a very low cost, but give you, you know, five to 10 times what you've put in, in terms of an investment. So um, let's look at your biggest investment. Let's make sure that it's properly presented to the right people, the right buyers, and um, that when they walk into your house, you have absolutely nothing to do, zero, nothing. Uh, sorry, that they have nothing to do. And they're really and wedding, wedding, I just said wedding, really and willing and ready. Holy smokes, I need some of this coffee right here. Yep, I need some of this coffee. I got a little autofocus on my camera too. So if I'm in and out, I'm apologize. I'm trying to not move around. Um, but that a buyer is willing and ready to step up to the table and write you that big check, that big juicy check that you're looking for. So uh, if you're in the Burlington market, if you're in the Oakville market, the Milton, the Mississauga, the Hamilton market, this is a very important uh, message for you, especially if you're thinking about making a move this year. If you're purchasing a home, if you're purchasing a home, you need to be ready to step up to the plate. If it's a house that you like and you want to make a move on, make a move on it. Don't wait. Don't sit back. Don't, you know, procrastinate. The one thing I like to do with my buyers is to get the homework out of the way. So if we're looking at a property or we're looking at a specific type of property, let's look at everything that's sold ahead of time. Let's look at everything that has come on the market and, you know, done a price reduction. Let's look at days on market. Let's see why those homes are sitting for so long or selling very quickly. Because if it's a good property in the right location and it's priced half decently, it's gone. You got no chance. So you got to be first in and, and realistically, you've got to be ready to write an offer um, right now. So that being said, we are in a very weird real estate market where homes aren't lasting. But if you price it wrong and it's priced a little high, they're going to sit a little bit. You got to be ready uh, to price your home properly. And if you're buyer, you got to be ready to jump on it and make that move. That's it. That's all. Um, if you have any questions, DM me, email me, soul at kenparkin.com. Facebook messaging, message me. If we aren't friends on Facebook, feel free to add me. Uh, follow my Facebook page. Ken Park in Real Estate. I drop lots and lots of insightful content um, and I'm partnering with some pretty cool people. We're going to have some really neat things rolling out over the next couple of months that is going to make the real estate experience and the renovation experience that much better. Thank you. And uh, well, I'm going to finish this coffee here and I apologize for interrupting your day, but hopefully, hopefully you found some value. Have a great day.